Welcome to Think Green. I'm Susan Stark. We are at Hedge Apple Farm in rainy Buckystown, Maryland, just a few minutes away from downtown Rockville, to find out what's the beef between grass-fed and grain-fed cows. <laughs> Cattle have evolved over hundreds of thousands of years by grazing on grass in open pastures. It was just 40 years ago when America's beef industry changed this natural method of raising cattle to confining them in feedlots where they are fattened on a steady diet of corn and soybeans. A corn-fed cow grows from 80 pounds to 1,100 pounds in just 14 months, whereas a grass-fed animal takes two years. Corn-fed cows are also stuffed with growth hormones and antibiotics because they are constantly sick. Here at Hedge Apple Farm, their beef is raised on a completely natural diet comprised of fresh pasture and hay. A lot of grass-fed cattle spend majority of their lives in pastures eating grass before moving to a feedlot for grain finishing. But on this farm, the cattle is grass finished, meaning it is raised on a forage diet their entire lives. Hedge Apple Farm is your source for healthy, natural, and nutritious grass-fed beef. To tell us all about this farm is Executive Director Dr. Scott Barrio. Welcome to the show. Well, thanks for being here today. So tell us about the farm. Hedge Apple Farm is part of the Jorgensen Family Foundation. Uh, we're an agricultural research and education foundation, and the farm is the centerpiece, if you will, of the foundation. The Jorgensen family gifted a conservation easement to the Maryland Environmental Trust to protect this farm from future development. Too many farms have already switched over to a feedlot farm, but that won't happen here. There's no question that over time we've moved from a grass-based feeding system to a corn-based or grain-based feeding system, which requires, in general sense, uh, the use of feedlots, where lots of animals are fed the exact same diet and until they're ready to, be, to produce beef. But that's been driven by a desire by the American public to have cheap food. It's much more inexpensive to raise beef in a feedlot environment than it is in a system like this. Uh, in our system, these animals are 22 to 24 months of age when they're processed. In a feedlot situation, they're 13 or 14 months of age. This beef is expensive, but for a country that struggles with portion size, this could be that healthy push to get us to improve the quality of our food over the quantity. You know, one comment that I get more frequently than any other is this. People will tell me, this is what I remember beef used to taste like. And I think that they say that for a couple reasons. First of all, it's lower in fat. And I think as Americans, our palate has been uh, trained to distinguish the taste of fat. Well, in our product, it's very lean, uh, very low in fat, and you're not overpowered by a taste of fat when you eat the product. This is a ribeye steak. You can see it's got quite a bit of marbling. It's going to be tender, juicy, very, very flavorful. Not a lot of external trimmable fat. So as I was saying earlier, it's relatively lean. Uh, but you also have to remember that the fat is where the omega-3 fatty acids are. So you don't want something that is devoid of fat. This naturally raised grass-finished beef has great nutritional benefits. It is considered just as healthy for you as a multivitamin supplement. The difference in the diets uh, affects the kind of meat that the animals produce. Grass-fed beef has a uh, stronger beef-like flavor. It's leaner. It's higher in omega-3 fatty acids, conjugated linoleic acid, higher in vitamin A, higher in vitamin E than a comparative product that was fed grain at some point in, during the production system. If your cows could talk, what do you think they'd say to you? If our cows could talk, I think they would say that they're very happy. They're comfortable here on the farm, they have plenty to eat, they're surrounded by a beautiful environment, and they live a pretty good life. <laughs> pretty good until the end. <laughs> pretty good until the end. Well, thank you for being on our show. I really appreciate it. Well, thanks for having us up here. For more information, log on to hedgeapplefarm.com. And by the way, that melt-in-your-mouth sensation you get from grass-fed beef is going to cost you more, and whether it's worth the price is totally up to you. Either way, you pay a price. This way, it's not with your health. 